What happened here on Voxalna Street, the devastation, was a serious blow to the Russian forces as they tried to take the city of Bucha. The Russian column, the armored column, was moving in this direction. The city center is about 200 meters that way, and they fell into a classic ambush. Ukrainian soldiers took out the lead vehicle, and then they took out the last vehicle, and began to destroy everything in between. There would have been soldiers uh, in between these houses with anti-tank weapons firing at everything that was in between, and obviously they took out every vehicle along the street, probably in a very short period of time. Other soldiers would have been hiding around the houses here and shooting at Russian soldiers who got out to defend themselves or tried to make their escape. There's a lot of damage on this street, and there's a lot of pride from the Ukrainian army about what they were able to do here. They were able to stop, slow down the Russian army as they tried to take over this suburb so close to Kyiv. And you can see what's left. The hulk of various armored vehicles now left uh, rusting in the streets. Here there's the remains of a Russian uniform and a Russian hat. Somebody who, who probably died here and many, many Russian soldiers were killed on this street. And of course now a lot of people are coming down from Bucha to see exactly what happened here now that their, um, now that their city has been liberated and their lives can begin to be rebuilt here. Paul Workman, CTV News in Bucha.